Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. Um, I tried my elongated front pocket to see if having a lined front leg would work and make everything nice and smooth. And basically, um, let me show you the steps that I did to construct it. Um, because I think in a pair of pants that are not contoured fit, this would work really, really well. I think because I'm trying to make a pair of, you know, jeans essentially out of knit and it's a snug fit, I think the bias silk fabric that I used for the pocket facing and pocket bag fought the ponte knit in a weird way and it looked okay, but it felt a little funny through the crotch. So I think, you know, sometimes you get a good idea and sometimes you find out it's not so good. So I'm happy to share with you that I'm testing these things and I don't love this, but I'm going to show you the way it, um, you know, I'm going to show you the way I put it together and I'm going to show you the way it looked. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them apart and I think I'm going to try making a regular pocket facing out of the silk because it's very light. And then I'm going to sew that there and see if that shows through the front leg like the bulkier um, batik fabric did. So I think my whole reasons for lining the whole front leg was to get rid of the, the indentation of the bottom of the pocket bag um, from the right side when you're wearing them. So maybe if I try instead a lighter weight fabric, that may work. So I'm going to leave the silk um, pocket facing that I have already sewn into these. Um, and you'll see that in a minute, I'm going to show you the steps that I did to put it together. Um, but basically, I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to take the long pocket bag off. And then um, I'm going to try doing a traditional pocket bag, like my first pair, but out of this thinner fabric and see if I like that. I'm also going to include the bias piece of fabric in the front crotch seam instead of having it all be one piece because like I said it was kind of weird you know stretching through the crotch um, and then finally I may do um, something at the knee where it's just you know a patch of fabric you know through the knee from here to here that may you know help keep the shape of um, you know the knee and, I, and I'm gonna have to try that and see if I like it but those are the things I'm thinking about, and that's where I am. But when you see me in my jeans, you're going to see that the waistline is much higher. That would be where the waistband actually sits, you know, that where the waist sits before you put the waistband on, on the pattern I'm working on. So I didn't, you know, lower the rise for this pair. I made them as is. So let me show you how to put together the pocket, and then I'll show you how they fit. All right, so here's the fabric I'm gonna use for my first elongated pocket bag. This pattern piece now goes to about two inches below the knee. And I just wanna see how this is gonna work. It's actually very loosely woven silk. I got this a remnant in a discount fabric store and it feels really nice, but it's not my color scheme. So I'm gonna try using this fabric as a pocket bag because it's not going to hurt anything if it doesn't work and I don't like it because I can just take it out and try something else. To keep the comfort of the non-stretch pocket at the top, I cut out the pocket facing straight on the grain so there's no stretch. Okay, so what I mean by that is this pocket shape here, that would be the one I'm going to sew to the front pocket opening, has no give. So I'm going to try this combination and see how it works. First thing I'm going to do is take my knit pieces and I need to put them on so it protects the it protects the, shape, the front pocket opening like that. So I'm going to just stitch those on and then I'm going to sew the pocket facings to the front pockets on the gray ponte knit jean I just cut out. So here you can see I've sewn the ponte knit little facing pieces to protect the view from the front pocket opening onto the silk. And I just want to show you that I did one just pinning it and then I did the other one using 505 adhesive spray. This is the one I just pinned on and you can see that there's some um, extra uh, ponte knit sort of bubbling up in the middle of the facing. And this one you can see is laying nice and smooth because I used 505 to adhere it to the shifty silk. 
And before I did that, I made sure it was the correct shape by laying the pattern piece on top of it. So I think this is a really good solution to um, working with two different kinds of fabric. So I've got my, my knit facings on my pocket bag pieces. Now I'm gonna sew my, um, my pocket facings onto the front legs of my Ponty jean. Okay, so now I've got my pocket facing sewn on and here is the inside view. And you can see I've served the edge of this pocket facing because I'm gonna finish this separately and then just sew it to the, the um, pocket bag when I get it together. All right, and so now I've laid my um, big pocket bag, the one that I've extended to the knee um, on top, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna sew through just the um, facing and the pocket bag to create the bottom edge of the pocket, and then I'm gonna reline it up like this, and I'm just going to baste it to the outer edges, so through the, crunt, the zipper, the front crotch, um, side seam, inseam. And then I'm gonna just put it together like I would my regular jeans. All right, so now that I have the jeans put together, let me show you how they fit. All right, so here's the front view. You can see that um, you know it's, it looks much smoother underneath the pocket because you can't see the pocket bag, um, but it's doing this weird stretching thing, and you know I think that this isn't going to work like I thought it was going to work. So. You know, this is one good idea that I can chalk up to not being such a great idea. Um, and then here's my back view. I'm still in love with the back view. It's so comfortable. Um, I can't wait to actually finish a pair so I have them to wear. Very exciting. All right, so as you can see, my second muslin or my second test pair of these Ponty Knit jeans wasn't an overall disaster. Um, like I said, I'm gonna change what I'm doing in the front pocket. I'm gonna play with thinner fabric and then I may do something at the knee, we'll see. All right, so if you have any questions or comments about this pocket idea that I'm playing with, you know, please post them below or you can visit my blog at Jay Stern Designs. Um, and I'm gonna work on these over the weekend and have a completely finished pair for Quick Tip Tuesday so I can show you, you know, the back pockets and the waistband and the whole construction complete start to finish. And this pattern is really almost ready to go as well. So I will have the full range of sizes from six to a Miss 24. I think I'm gonna make it into a workshop so I can do a stretch knit jean class as well. So super excited about this. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you for a Quick Tip Tuesday next week.